This video is sponsored by studywebdevelopment.com, which gives you whatever you need to start your own side hustle and becoming the ultimate freelancing developer. And this will include a 100-page guide on how to do your own side business, give you tips on SEO, and even give you website templates to help you keep going right away. Check them out in the link in the description below. And now please enjoy the video. Wow, <laughs> it has been a really long time, guys. It's really been a long time. It's been a couple weeks since I've uploaded my last video, and I have a very good, clear explanation why that has happened, yo. But other than that, dudes, I've been out of the state. I've been away from my home for a couple weeks. I've been on a binge trip the last couple weeks, actually, in t Tennessee, in Virginia, and a lot of crazy things are going on in my life right now. I know 2020 has been a crazy year for all of us. Even I myself have been laid off, but I can personally say, Fortunately, that for me in my life, this has been the life where my life has completely turned around, where the direction of where I'm going in my career has completely changed for the better. And I could say this all happened because I got laid off, which is absolutely insane. And so, yes, 2020 has been a bad year, but I wanna go ahead and bring some good news to you guys and how my life has really changed. And the way I'm gonna do this and the way I want to do this is to really share how my life has changed from before learning code to after getting my first job, even how my life has changed ever since becoming a developer from the last four years. And I can personally say that I know that I am very fortunate. What I'm trying to say is that I'm just really trying to live in the moment. And I wanted to be able to show you guys, and I'm really hoping that by sharing this story, this video, that it would encourage you to keep going to not give up and to motivate you and to help you realize that there is an goal and that goal is not as far as you might realize. So let's go ahead and let's begin. I wanna go ahead and share how my life was. Let's just go back to as far as four years before I became a developer dudes. Life was really different for me. So eight years ago, I was living in Buena Park, California. In that city, I was not making much at all whatsoever. I was, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I was work. I had, I think I had three jobs. Yeah, at this time I literally had three jobs. I worked at LAX as a delivery guy, like little delivery boy. I was literally the guy who went to every terminal, every store and delivered magazines to all the stores that you would buy when you go to LAX. That was me, I'm the guy unboxing those blue boxes putting magazines on the shelves. The second job I was working at that time, I had three jobs during this time, I was working at Kumon. I was working at Kumon making 10 bucks an hour, being yelled at little kids, greeting homework all day. And then my third job aside from that was that I was a nanny, okay? So I was working three jobs, working about 60 hours a week, not including my job at LAX, not including my job at Kumon. And this was really tough, yo. And what's sad is that when I put all of my income together, which is crazy, after every two weeks, right, from 180 hours, I only brought home after taxes about 900 bucks. And that was so humbling, man. I remember during this time thinking like, like, why does life have to be so hard? Why does life have to be so hard for me? Why do I have to work 90 hours a week? And I knew it was because I was, not that I was, I mean, yes, now, I, I wasn't lazy because I was working so many hours, but at the same time, I can when I look back, I was lazy. So yes, I worked 90 hours a week, but I was using it as an excuse as to why I can't do something else. I can't go to school or, or to maybe become a doctor or a lawyer. I mean, even though, it, what's crazy is that I knew I could do those things. I just didn't want to. I was lazy. I knew I could, I could have become an electrical engineer, but I wasn't. It's crazy when I look back at those times, man. And what's funny is that even after working those three jobs, living in California also, you know, that did not pay the bills and I was still living paycheck to paycheck and still asking people for money because I couldn't afford to live. It was so difficult. There was even a time when before that, I was living in a car for three months. And you know what, I've never shared this with anyone, but with my ex from years ago, because I didn't have a home to stay in, would actually sleep in the car with me because <laughs> she didn't want me to be alone. And you know, and it was during summer where it's freaking hot as heck. And so I was so lucky to have someone like that who loved me so much too. Aside from that, yo, like back then, I remember when 
I wasn't sure what I was going to eat the next day. I remember when I had to choose between a cell phone or buying food. Like, I mean, like paying for my phone or food. But then if I bought the food and then I couldn't actually use my cell phone, which I needed to communicate with my bosses at the time. And so of course, because I needed money to come in so I can eat more often, right, than not, I had to sacrifice eating sometimes just so I can afford my phone bill. It, it was really just that bad because I was paying rent too. Yo, like the times were, were tough, um, you know, losing my grandma and literally no one knows this, but I actually got kicked out of every house I've ever lived in. I was so selfish. I was so spoiled because literally for most of my life, there were people taking care of me. I even got kicked out of my dad's house and even with my, with my living with my mom, I got kicked out of the house too because I was so lazy, dudes. And then when I finally got kicked out, I can say that was when my life really changed. Going through these hard times, not knowing what you're going to eat, problems with my health that I can't control because I can't afford the medicine. These difficult times is what really changed me and allowed me to really make that decision, that change in my life. That is why four years ago, I decided I wanted to learn code. When I was only making, you know, I finally had a job that was paying 18 bucks an hour. I'm like, yes, I was so excited. Um, after going through hard times, 18 bucks an hour helped me so much more than working three different jobs. I just worked one job 40 hours a week, but then even that job cut my hours. And so that's when I realized I need to do something where someone will pay me a lot more. I need to find a job where people will value me more. I need to, I need to build a skill that would allow me to bring more value to the economy and that's when i started learning code and when i finally learned code dudes and getting my first job after just months through treehouse my life honestly completely changed when i finally got hired i'm going to share my salary by the way with all of you my first developer job as a junior remember i knew nothing i barely knew html and css i knew no javascript no jquery they started paying me $45,000 an hour. You have to understand going from 18 bucks an hour technically to making $45,000 a year and they paid for my health insurance. Dudes, my life turned completely upside down. It was insane. I went from barely being able to afford my rent to now, okay, here's the money for rent. It's no problem. To not being able to afford even my phone bill. Here we go. And actually, all right, now this is sad, but it's true. After getting my first job, because I had so much more money, or uh, <laughs> I started getting weight because now I was, went from eating only a cup of noodles and Del Taco only a few times a day to being able to eat and buy whatever food I want, which was horrible because, yo, <laughs> if you look at my first videos compared to now, yo, I have blown up <laughs> physically. And yes, I have a lot more subscribers than I used to. Life has completely changed in that aspect, right? Um, it, it's, it's funny because my girlfriend at the time, um, from four years ago, or maybe that was, yeah, four years ago, five years ago, she didn't have a good job either. She was struggling with me. And when I got that job, she started getting weight too, because now I don't want to enjoy this money by myself. And we were enjoying it together. So when we'd eat out, I'd pay for everything. We'd out, we eat out whatever restaurant we want. Eating out at that Thai restaurant that looked so nice, but it was too expensive. Being able to go, that's, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane how much your life changed. It is crazy to see how just learning a skill can help you have a better lifestyle. And so I was at that job for two years. I learned HTML, CSS, jQuery. I learned simple things like working with Ajax and et cetera. And then after that job, after two years, I got my second job at Entrepreneur Media. And at that job, they almost doubled my salary. They pretty much did. I was earning about $70,000 a year. I went from $45,000 a year to 70. Now you have to imagine, okay. That's a big difference. And now, because I was able to get a mid-level developer job after two years, I ended up leaving where I used to live. Now, one thing I didn't share earlier was that the place I lived in for five years before getting my mid-level developer position was that I lived in a room like this, but half the size for five years. Like literally, honestly, yeah, literally half the size of this room for five years and I paid like 350 bucks a month. So I went from that to, okay, I live in this place for five years. There's no AC in the room. There is AC in the room, but it wasn't really that well. I had roommates, there were rats there, there were spiders everywhere. And I just want to deal with that no more. So when I got my first mid-level developer job, the first thing I did was move out. I actually stepped it up a bit to inventing a master bedroom, a huge master bedroom, a second floor of a house that was literally um, almost four times the size of this room. You know what? I haven't even shown you guys really my house. 
Okay, so what I'm showing you right now, this is actually my desk area. This is literally how big or small my room was before. So this is kind of like, say, the living room. But this is my couch right here. This is so comfortable, man. This is a king size cast for bed. Freaking amazing, super soft. It was crazy, you know, it was beautiful. It was a second floor, nice view. Everything was nice. And to be able to, to jump from where that closet size bedroom to moving there was absolutely amazing. And after getting that job, man, like I bought my first couch, I bought my first bed. After using a 10 year old bed for five years, yo, and then you move to like at least a Casper bed, king size was something I always wanted. Being able to buy that was so life changing because man, the bed was so comfortable. Going to sleep at night felt like, okay, man, it is time for you to relax. It's so amazing. To buying my first gaming PC, to buying nice monitors. Now, okay, now please know when I say buying all these things, it doesn't mean I'm more happy. It's just crazy to go from dreaming of things that you probably would never have to being able to have it in your hands when you wanted it. Having these new things did not make me more happy, that's for sure. But what it did do was make life more convenient and that's it. I'm not saying that these things will make you more happy either, but it made my life just so much more easier, right? Um, not even just that, it was nice to have a place for my girlfriend to visit me too. Before, you know, people would always wonder why I always filmed in my cars and literally majority of my videos. It's because I didn't have a place to film. My room was too small, it was ugly, it was disgusting, there's no good lighting. So why would I film in my room, right? To go from that to literally having my own like huge room I could film in was life changing for me because my content changed. And then being able to film at work. And one thing I wanna note guys is that, yes, I was getting paid $70,000 a year at that job, but I think it's also good to note that because of YouTube, because I was getting better jobs, because my lifestyle was changing, being able to document all this on YouTube, my income on YouTube was going up as well. I went from making like 700 bucks a month on YouTube to making thousands. Like literally just this month alone, I made about $3,000. And I only uploaded like two videos this month. This will be the third one, I think. That's absolutely insane. As my income was increasing, my YouTube money was increasing. So even though I earned like $70,000 a year from my job, with YouTube, I was easily making thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year on top of that. So even though I was earning seventy thousand dollars a year, you have to understand I was actually earning a hundred to hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. That's crazy, especially for someone who was poor most of his life. I didn't know what to do with that money. So I actually, what happened? Now, what something that I don't think a lot of people talk about is that I actually ended up going in debt big time because I just kept buying, buying, buying these things I've always dreamed of, and because I had credit cards, I thought I could afford it all. And that's my biggest regret as well. That is why I literally don't use my credit cards like I used to. I have only a few of them, but that's it. And now I only use them when I need to and I paid them off right away. And then <laughs> I got laid off, right? I got laid off from a mid-level job. And you have to understand that after being able to live this life, being an entrepreneur for two years and being able to live the lifestyle I had and to have that taken away like that after feeling valuable to every company I worked at, and to have that taken away from you, removed. For the last two years, life has been so easy and now it's taken. I could honestly say, man, that even though that happened, being laid off was the best thing to ever happen to me, hands down. Because I got laid off, my mindset as someone that needs to survive in this world completely changed. I realized that I never wanted to 100% depend on an employer for an income. That if someone was to let me go, or let's say if I wasn't happy at the company, I wanted to build my value to the point where, you know what, if I'm not happy, I'm leaving. Because of that, I actually started to build an entrepreneurial mindset. And so I actually ended up starting my own apparel line, which is absolutely insane. As you can tell, this is the new shirt that's actually coming out tomorrow. Uh, developer Branded, you can check it out in the link description below, developerbrand.com is actually the new developer apparel company I started. And no, this isn't just merch. People keep calling it merch, but it's actually doing really well. I've, uh, within the last two months, I've sold literally about, I think $4,000, $5,000 of merchandise. But what's really funny is that this apparel line isn't the main thing I'm selling either. What I'm really selling is coming out really soon too. Uh, but it's really cool because, yo, after starting this apparel line, I didn't realize how easy it was to start a business. Who would have known that just by putting maybe two to 300 hours of work to your own business would allow you to build an extra profit? I mean, there's so much more I can say, but this video is already becoming really long. The reason I'm where I am right now is literally because I just started. That's all I did to get to where I am today. And I know that anyone could be where I am, that I am literally just lucky. To be honest, I feel like I'm just lucky to get to where I am. I'm not better than anyone else, but one thing I did was I worked my butt off 
and I kept going. If it can happen to me, and I'm, I'm being genuine when I say this, yo, it can 100%, 110% happen to you, but you have to believe in yourself. If I didn't believe in myself, I would not be here. Even when I doubted myself more than I believed, because I had that little bit of hope, because I had that determination to not give up, is why I'm where I am now. Um, I'm gonna end the video right here. Thank you all for watching, man. My life has changed so much and I can't wait for this to happen to you as well. If your life has changed within the last couple of years, please share it in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like. <laughs> Love you all. This is Krishan. This is the life of a developer within the last few years. Love you all. I'm out. Peace.